Hong Kong may be a world-class destination, but the best food isn't only found in fancy restaurants. Like any major international city, some of the tastiest dishes in Hong Kong are best enjoyed out on the streets with friends. And while Leo and I are close, two people is not a party. So we got Joyce and Phyllis, the people behind HK Food Lover on Instagram, to show us what there is to eat on the streets of Mong Kok, one of the busiest shopping areas in the city. And we weren't quite prepared for what we were going to eat first. Hey guys, guess where we are? We're in Mong Kok, oh. one of the busiest street in Hong Kong. So what are we doing here on the busiest street in Hong Kong? Let's go eat. What's the one right behind us? Which one is this about? It's called Beijia, and then um, it's having some kind of organs. organs. Are you gonna try? Organs? Organs. organs. Yes, yeah. organs. Some organs. Like the instrument? Um, oh, there's a huge lineup. It looks very yeah. popular. Yeah. It's kind of the most popular shop, I would say, in the street. Let's get over there. Right. Let's cross okay. the street. Oh. We're having an octopus. Organs. We're having kidney. Other reproductive <laughs> organs. <laughs> I, I didn't even I know that. those were edible. Everything's edible. Yes. So this is the octopus, and this is the female organ, which we mentioned just now. And this is the kidney. You want to try? I mean, yeah. yeah. You have to try. Uh, let me... Oh, man. You go first. You take a bite of your turkey kidney. Me first? Yep. It's like just on the edge of being crunchy. Like it's not quite crunchy, what? but it's like it's like in between chewy and crunchy. Um, look, the flavor is pretty much that of like right. meat. Uh, the hot mustard and the the dark sauce is very nice. Mm -hmm. It's sauce. a good combination. Sweet sauce. Kidney, kidneys up. <laughs> kidneys up. Oh, oh. There he is. That's... This is a kidney. <laughs> If you, if you just fed me this with my eyes closed, I would have thought this was a vegetable. I've never had octopus. I've had squid. Uh, You're gonna love it. It's like cooked in some sort of sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna, that's why it's orange. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of mustard. <laughs> that went like right up my nose. Oh God. It was just kind of like mustard. And then it kind of like the mustard kind of went away. And the kind of a fishy taste came in, but it's like good. <laughs> and you, you guys should try this. The final one. Which I don't like. You don't like I'm this? Out, I'm the free. Hello. So this is a female organ it's of some kind. The very kind. inner part. The very inner, inner part. part. Do what? I don't think I, I like that all that much. It's got this aftertaste, but it's always there. And I can't I can't really describe the aftertaste. It's kind of like semi-bitter and semi-salty. The, the texture was great. And it was just like a sausage casing. You bite it and it kind of like pops. I don't know, I just, it, it wasn't for me. Will you recommend to any of your friends? I would the definitely. Third one, the third one. Oh. The third one? I think it's definitely worth trying. <laughs> I. It's worth trying. It's like seen before. Yeah. Well, this translates pretty well over to, over yeah, to the West. Yeah, I mean, baked goods. Baked goods and a bakery. Buns. Yeah, this is pancake. Yeah. It's called steel bang. And it's like a um, very chewy kind very of texture. Very chewy. Is, is it similar to like mochi? <laughs> kind of. Custard, peanuts. Peanuts. And then red bean, and then original flavor, which is nothing inside. It's chicken biscuits. Yeah. Right. Chicken gai zai bang. So chicken biscuits. Yeah, yes, yeah. Chicken biscuits. You can try. There's no chicken in it. No chicken, oh. yeah. No chicken in it. Oh. It's just named after a chicken. Yes, but this shop is really famous for the, for the siu bang. Siu bang. Okay. Oh, okay. We so is that what we're getting right now? Yeah, uh, yeah. we can All right, yeah, let's try this that. one first. All right. Yep. Dig in. Mm. Oh. So good. <laughs> I got like no red bean. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I think you did, but then oh, it like oh, yeah, yeah, I did. seals it off. A baked bread, <laughs> a baked bite. Mm. Wow, mm. Okay. but like, yeah, so like chewy. I think that this is there's more. An, there's a, like an elasticity to it. More yeah. chewy than mochi. Mm. <laughs> Local people, we always like to go to bakery shop. Right. And right. like for breakfast, for tea time, some snacks. Yeah. I mean, we we just have Tim Hortons. Mm. <laughs> That's like the Timbit of mm. Hong Kong. Cost comparison. Timbit of Hong Kong. <laughs> you can try this. Is the chicken biscuit that doesn't have any chicken in yeah. it. Yes. Right. Why is it called a chicken biscuit? I think maybe it looks like a chicken. Because it's made with pork chicken. fat. It kind of looks like it could be chicken. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, yeah, chicken yeah, it does. Whoa. <laughs> what is in there? What's on the inside? You can see this one. It's um, 
part fat. It's like it's what? giving off like a, a natural saltiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the actual pastry around it kind of just like it's very crumbly. Like it's like you bite into this little biscuit and then there's bacon on the inside almost. Mm. It's not bacon, but it's like a, the pork fat kind of taste. Right. The biscuit is kind of like crumbly. So when it mixes with the pork fat, it kind of becomes like a paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like a tough paste, like a taffy kind of. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> what? I mean, like I like it's, it's not bad, but I'm like, would I get it again? I don't know. It's like Timbits as well, where if you if you eat more than three, you're you kind of just like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you get diabetes. You usually get one this, you get that home, and yes. share. You just like have the innate feeling like, oh god, I've eaten too much. Yes. Like this is, I need to stop. Yes. I feel yeah. greasy and kind of dirty. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank showing so us much. around. No problem. Uh, we're gonna do this again with you guys, right? Yeah, sure. So more to come with Joyce and Phyllis of Hong Kong Food Lover, and more to come from Seagrin Informant. So see you Boosh. soon. Boom. Thanks for watching this video, which is produced by Tattle. If you don't know, Tattle is a brand new platform connecting savvy locals with curious explorers. Check us out on social media and sign up for our newsletter at the link in the description. Big thanks to Joyce and Phyllis for showing us around Mongkok, and be sure to check out their Instagram page at HK Food Lover. See you next time.